Bagby Hot Springs is a magical place, and it's located in the Mount Hood National Forest about 70 miles southeast of Portland. They were named in 1881 by Robert W. Bagby. Allegedly, Bagby came across a sign reading hell with an arrow pointing uphill. He followed the arrow and found the hot mineral springs flowing from the ground. It is now the popular destination that we all know. The hot mineral water flows from two underground springs at 25 gallons per minute at about 136 degrees Fahrenheit. The first structures at Bagby were built in 1908. The tubs and bathhouse were constructed at Bagby in 1939. And then when the logging roads made the area more accessible in the 1950 and 1960s, the number of vid visitors increased dramatically. The area at the springs became eroded with overuse and there was many complaints about noise and alcohol and drug abuse, as well as car break-ins at the trailhead. At one point, the Forest Service even considered closing the area to recreational use. After the bathhouse and other structures were destroyed by fire in 1979, a group called the Friends of Bagby Hot Springs negotiated with the Forest Service to help manage the site. Under the organization's care, Bagby facilities were improved. The Friends of Bagby Hot Springs and the Mount Hood National Forest cooperate to manage the Bagby Hot Springs area. The Northwest Forest Conservancy maintains the trail and has partially restored the guard station cabin. Overnight camping is not permitted at the site, but visitors often spend many hours late into the evening soaking in the tubs. A few things you should know about Bagby Hot Springs. Someone, I don't know who, sprinkled sparkles all along the path all the way up to the springs. So it's kind of cool, especially at night when you get a flashlight and it's dark and you know, the lights like sprinkling off of them. Um, it's also not a resort, so you're not gonna get up there. There's no towels, there's no lighting. When you go up during the day, it's crowded. There's people everywhere. You're gonna wait a long time to get into a tub. And it's a 1.5 mile hike. Kind of more of a family vibe during the day. You can have a picnic, there's tables, things like that. But at night, it's definitely more party vibe, partying, uh, but there's way less people. I went up at night and there was, I didn't have to wait to get in a tub. There's some scrub brushes. I like to, I cleaned my tub, drained it, and then filled it up. And then I got buckets of cold water from the river and brought it in to kind of bring it to a temperature that was cool. Cool thing you can do is there's no lights, like I said. So people bring candles and put them around the tub, and then you can uh, have some light and a little bit of vibe. Another thing is, is when you're leaving, a lot of people use their cell phone light, but I would recommend either having your cell phone charged or having a flashlight because it's really dark and I doubt you'd find your way back without some light. Clothing is also optional at Bagby Hot Springs. Just thought you should know that. Bagby Hot Springs is a really cool place. If you've never been there before, I strongly recommend it.